Hey guys, how's it going? Naked all day. This time, I'm not showing you one of my games. I'm showing you a platoon that somebody in my clan had had. They're playing in, what is this map? Kamaria. We've got J-Dog and Pursue. Okay, let's see here. They got a 50% chance to win. That's awesome. I love playing in games that have a 50% chance because I don't feel like I'm taking advantage of the weak and I don't feel like I'm being taken advantage because I'm the weak. <laughs> All right, here, let's see. AMX5100 says, I feel like I'm going to get insta-killed. All right. Anyways, uh, Pershing and Type 59, it looks like. They're in their T or their Tier 8 medium tanks. Um, I have to admit, I've seen a lot of things done right in this match, and i actually seen one or two things that I probably wouldn't have done, but... Um, even if you have mistakes, and I'm sure the people playing this could also, you know, contest to mistakes that even if you make a mistake, if you realize it fast enough and make a change, then uh, it won't really affect anything, and you might possibly not die, and as long as your gun is in battle, then good chances you have. Now, it looks like Pursue is going center with a whole bunch of people, at least according to our mini-map, Object 416. The M6 heavy tank, the T28 prototype, the uh, Yag Panzer IV, and of course Pursue. You cannot die. Looks like J Dog is already encountering p targets to shoot at. Let's jump into his view here for a moment. I see. Now, if you guys don't know the armor on this tank, uh, the hull is not that great, but the turret is pretty pretty decent for its tier. So, you can find a place like this window. Right? You cannot die. Uh, can't get over there. Then, um, you know, it exposes none of your lower tank, it's just your turret. So, very bouncy, indeed. Very, very good decision. As a matter of fact, even the lower part of this turret is, is protected. And these people just keep giving, giving him something to shoot at. There's only three tanks holding the, nor or the zero line. Um, and I think there's four or five enemy over there, so that's that's going to be uh, a tough one for them to hold. If the enemy realizes the mismatch there, then they could probably just swarm them. The people on the island are committed. They're deep inside the island. It's not like they could give support that fast. But we do have four people left on the island. It looks like they only have two. They just killed one of our guys. Probably, probably a mistake. Look at so far... Our IS-6 guy's pretty good, 54% win rate. I mean, he's better than I am. Um, he died already. He probably got aggressive, found himself in a tricky situation, and the enemy exploited it. Maybe it was a lucky artillery shot. Let's see. No artillery kills, so yeah. The enemy team is dying, though, but it is t it's tied still. It would be cool if they could make a, a tool for people that make videos in order to be able to jump to anybody in the replay in the match or maybe even see their damage as we go if I could like let's say hit control hover over somebody and figure out how much damage they've done on both sides that'd be really neat in order to help commentate the, the battle and break it down strategically now J-Dog took a blind shot there I would have done the same thing He has faced the, uh, his tank is facing the island, if you, if you didn't notice this, look at this. There's a reason why he's facing the island. The island can take shots at him, so why not face him with the heaviest front armor? Now, j Dog realizes that the battlefield is changing. He's adapting. Sure, there's a tiger, and the tiger, the driver over there is very good. Um, but j Dog knows that he needs to come up and start assisting the 1-2 line, I mean, uh, the 9-0 line. And I'm sure him and Pursue are communicating, and they're trying to talk about it and see what they can do together to prevent them from flanking the whole entire team. Now, at this point, it's still tied, except the this team that we're watching on is at a disadvantage. Why are they at a disadvantage? Because the enemy team kind of has them surrounded. You know what I mean? They're being forced into a smaller and smaller pocket. 
Artillery is taking shots. The tank destroyers are doing what they can. Hellcat's a pretty decent guy. He knows how to play that tank pretty well. J Dog's gonna try to get closer to get more spots on people while staying in cover. Now we got two IS-3s, a Panther II, and a T-34-1. They all know how to play their tanks. They're all green statistically in their tanks, which means they all win more than 50% of their games in that tank. That's pretty good. They might be average playing statistics. That could be because of a very late uh, learning curve. You know, when you start this game, you lose a lot of battles, and then to as you get better, you have to win, and your efficiency is still based on, your win rate is still based on your other games. So if you take the first 2,000 games and you get like a 10% winning rate, but then after 2,000 you change that to start getting 60%, it's really going to take a while for your statistics to go up. So I don't intend, I mean, you know, I don't see them as yellow. I see them as green players because they probably have to get rid of the red or equally match the red. Now, it's really important that J-Dog stay alive here. He's the only one spotting the people on the cap. Pursue is pushed up, and I think he's over there seeking cover from uh, from the buildings and uh, from the enemy team, but he's still getting shot, but they're all taking shots on these two people, these three people from the enemy team. Now, look, it's changed. Because of the, the dramatic shift in balance of the enemy team, I mean, there's four people left, one being artillery, who's a not so good accurately and uh, still got a lot of tanks on the enemy team. Four to six are not good, you know. Right now the IS-3 way down there at the bottom on our team is still deciding to, to push unless he just died. He's pushing down there when he should be coming back to assist. No, don't guard the bridge, that doesn't matter. Now, the only time he should stay there is if he's going to get shot by something else paying attention. Now, the Type 59 on the enemy team is going to engage our Type 59, which is Pursue. Now, Pursue is trying to do the best he can, but eventually, he's not going to be able to protect himself against that many people. J-Dog tried to take a shot to protect him, but he wasn't able to. Now, he has to worry about people from both sides. He cleaned up the people in the middle, and now he has to focus on the cap. He's doing really good. So far, he's got 3,000 damage. For a tier 8 medium tank, that's pretty decent. Now, this is a tier 8 battle, so he's top tier, but still. 3,000 damage in anything is pretty good, even in artillery. I've, it's been better, but still. All right, so they're trying to move in on him now. Got all close. J Dog's like, you know what? I need to kill this guy. He's low health. I'm just going to break my only cover. Now, I probably wouldn't have done that. I probably would have backed up. That's the mistake that I was talking about. There's still shots coming from overhead, but it looks like it's coming from our IS3 who's coming back to help. Oh, he got a lucky bounce on that one. That came from an IS3 that could have done a few hundred damage easy. Now, he's backing up. He's waiting for, he's waiting for backup, you know? He's got 41% health, our IS3. I think he's got even less than that 20 hit points altogether. So what's he going to do? There's a Panther II. Panther IIs, they don't have the best armor. You can get some lucky bounces on it if you angle it properly. But he needs to get around and he needs to spot this guy. Not necessarily yet. There's seven minutes to go. There's Panther. Notice that the sound of the cap is not no longer ringing. And this Panther just kind of made a mistake. By exposing him like this, J-Dog could haul down. So only show his turret and uh, potentially bounce shots and keep him spotted. And there you go. Iaster is able to take him out. He's got five kills. The platoon altogether got six kills. Now they need to find artillery. So let's get this point of view and speed up the battle. Save times four. IS3 is coming up towards our cap. They're communicating. Go down the middle. J Dog tells them. IS3 communicates and says, Okay, no problem. I don't feel like you're trying to control my entire life, so in this case, I'm going to agree with you. They're talking more about load APCR just to make sure. They're making sure each other's ready. They say go. Now it's time to find this guy. Go J Dog get top gun. There's artillery. One shot into him. Oh, artillery got him. Last minute. Now. The IS-3 has to get him. He's one hit away. 
one hit away. You could the artillery could ram them, they'll both die and it'll be a draw. He's going as fast as he can, which is important. Try not to get him to reload. Oh, he clutch shot it and got it. They won with 20 hit points remaining on either team. Guys, I'm going to post their screenshots. I hope you liked it. Um, I salute you guys in the platoon. You guys did a great job. Very well carried. And um, just shows you that if you have people that know what they're doing, they could assist each other and change the battlefield. Even when good things go to bad, you can still take the victory if you just don't give up. Anyways, I appreciate you watching my video channels and all my videos. If you like what you're seeing, thumbs up, subscribe, and uh, make a comment down below because even if you just said that was great, that's going to help me. So I appreciate your support, and we'll see you on the next one.